Hey guys and welcome to a new video on Byte Geek. Today I'm going to be taking a look at what is the difference between a, a TLC and a QLC SSD drive. Uh, in particular, in this instance, it will be the Samsung uh, QVO and the Samsung EVO. So let's get to it. So guys, just before we dive into the detail on the video, uh, if you're new to the channel, maybe you've uh, been hanging around you know, looking at some of the content but you've not subscribed yet, then please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's uh, completely free for you to, to do that, but you know, helps the channel an awful lot. Uh, you know, it helps with the growth of the channel. And um, you know, I've got a target, uh, you know, trying to get to about 500 subscribers. Uh, before Christmas, hopefully, you know, I could get an awful lot more than that. You know, I'd like you to be part of the channel and uh, you know see some of the content that I've got coming up. So, uh, thanks in advance, and let's get to the uh, the rest of the video. So, I just want to do a brief history of uh, the SSD drives, and, and you know, hopefully, you know, you guys can see where these these Samsung drives kind of like fit into that. Obviously, you know, other manufacturers' drives would, would be in exactly the same position, but um, you know, this gives you an idea of where we are in terms of the technology at the moment. So at the outset, we've got the SLC drives, uh, which are single level cell drives. And, uh, you know, no surprises here, they, they store a single bit in a cell. Uh, these are uh, arguably the fastest drives you can, you can get. Um, they are more durable, uh, they're less error prone, and arguably, you know, they are something that you would use more in an enterprise level scenario. Uh, so less likely to find something like that in a consumer grade product, uh, really. And if it does, it would probably be an expensive product at that as well. Next, we've then got the MLC drives, which are multi-level cell drives. And uh, that sounds really good, that, that multi-level. Uh, but in reality, it's only two bits per cell that get written. So uh, not quite as, as great as it sounds, but it is there to uh, you know, increase the, the density effectively of, of what's uh, capable of being stored on the, uh, on the drive. So uh, no surprises there, these are slightly slower than the SLC drives. Uh, and be because of you know, that increased uh, you know, number of bits that get written on the cells, the, the drive becomes slightly more, less durable, slightly more error prone. When I'm talking about durability and error prone here, you know, these aren't catastrophic failures you know, every time type of thing. It's just a minute uh, increase um, over the base level, the SLC drives, I guess. And then the next level from that is uh, TLC, which is triple, triple level cell. Um, and that is three bits per cell that uh, can be stored there. And again, that, that increase in the number of bits that are being stored on the cell increases the, uh, the, the chances of errors and the durability of the drive. Obviously the, the speed uh, is, is reduced a little bit as well. Well, these are the most common uh, variants of SSD drive that you'll find on the market now, certainly for consumer grade SSDs. And these are really the best option uh, for, for an SSD drive uh, at the moment. So they're your first three. Uh, the, the next one is QLC, um, which no surprises, you know, as you, you can probably work out, you know, it's increasing by one, one bit per cell each time. So this is a quad level cell. And um, again, you know, this is, uh, you know, just that, that slight uh, degradation again, compared to the, the previous uh, types of drives. Um, the main thing with this one though, is that performance actually takes a bit of a, a dive on this drive. And you'll see that in uh, some of the file copies that I'll show you shortly. Um, you know, as soon as that cache fills up, then the, the drive itself, the performance, uh, just really isn't that great. But, you know, that's not to say that QLC drives are a load of rubbish. Um, you know, all of these drives compared to uh, your uh, typical uh, 
you know, platter hard drive uh, are substantially better in terms of uh, performance o over those uh, hard drives. Finally, the next level uh, on this is uh, PLC drives, which are penta-level drives. So again, you're stepping up another uh, notch in, in with regards to the number of bits that are being stored on the cell. You're just not going to find these in consumer-grade products at the moment. Um, so you know, whatever you do, don't don't be going on Amazon uh, or eBay trying to find one because uh, they're, they're just not going to be out there. Hopefully, that gives you a bit of a you know history or rundown of the different types of drives that have come onto the market. And um, what we're going to do now, just have a quick look at the the two Samsung drives, the QVO and the EVO, and um, then we'll do some uh, file copies. So as you can see here, physically the drives look identical. There is a slight color change on the the, uh, the casing of the drives, uh, but you know if you didn't have any labels on it, then you'd be probably hard pressed to know uh, what the difference was. So we'll do it. We'll do a, a large file copy, which I think is roughly around about 100 gig, and then we'll do it um, multiple small file copies as well. And you can see the kind of the difference of how the drives perform with regards to that. Right guys, so the first test I'm going to do, uh, which is a uh, large file test, so this is a 133 gig file, uh, admittedly probably larger than m what most people would be copying around, uh, but it, it's the best way to emphasize the point on this. So this particular drive, drive C, which is here, um, this is the Samsung EVO, which is a 500 gig uh, drive. Quite a common scenario that you might have. Okay, and the drive that I'm going to copy that to is uh, my drive D, which is the Samsung QVO, but just to show that uh, here. Uh, so there you go, that's the Samsung QVO, and that's a one terabyte drive. So um, what we'll do is I will uh, get my test file and copy that into this folder, and you'll see what happens. So you can see it starts off really good uh, speed here. not far off 480 megabits per second and then as soon as the cache is filled up on this drive the performance completely drops off uh, and we're, we're getting less than 100 megabits per second so it's, it's probably less than a quarter of its overall performance and this will stay like this now until it's actually completed copying the drive so rather than have you sit here for 25 minutes, uh, I'll just fast forward this video a little bit. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now is take that file and copy that back onto the, um, the EVO drive, so same file, same size file, 130 odd uh, gigabytes, and we'll see what performance is like on this. So already, you know, we're seeing the time remaining is is only four and a half minutes. Uh, Performance-wise, uh, or initial performance, obviously, is uh, very similar. Here we are guys, we're uh, almost 50% of the way through uh, in the copy process and uh, performance wise it's uh, probably about three times as fast as the uh, QVO drive still at the moment so uh, quite 
quite a difference that uh, obviously performance has dropped but it is effectively you know keeping up with the requests to uh, write to the drive so it's emptying the cache quickly enough to, in order to fill it again um, as opposed to the QVO drive which once it's full that's it you know it's it's it really does struggle to uh, to deal with a, a substantial file copy like this So there you go guys you can see you know it is just a gradual drop off in the performance still you know more than double the speed of the QVO drive. What I'm going to do now my uh, QVO drive folder is empty and the uh, test files that I've got so it's a bunch of uh, copied uh, images there. So this totals uh, I think it's about five and a half gigabytes. Yep. And the file sizes of these are uh, just under six meg files. So I think, you know, a five and a half gigs, because that's probably, uh, you know, more like a, um, you know, maybe a game install or something like that. Uh, but also, you know, you, you're more likely to deal with lots of smaller files than you are uh, with one large 130 odd uh, gig file so we will start to copy this onto the QVO drive and as you can see you know, it starts out quite a high rate um, but then very quickly reduces down in the throughput you know it's it's kind of like half but compared to that uh, large file copy you know the buff the cache was was able to to keep up uh, with the files that were being transferred through and for five and a half gig uh, that was quite a, f a fast uh, file copy so what I will do is I will uh, take those files now and you can compare that with uh, what it's like on the EVO drive so we'll copy it back the other way and as you can see you know there is similar kind of drop in performance but it is still quite a bit quicker um, and again you know of files that size you're getting uh, you know, really good performance out of the drive you know just looking at that a couple of slides that I'll throw up now and you can you can just see the uh, the overall performance there So I think the thing to understand really is that uh, even though the the QVO drive has uh, this this limiting factor, the the cache on the drive, um, it, you know, it's not something that you should actually avoid. I think you have to look at how you might uh, use it in your setup. Clearly, it's going to be way faster than. A, a standard hard drive and for me you know I've got my Hyper-V images on that I think it's, it's perfect for that um, you know it would be a good drive for games I don't think it's uh, it's a bad drive for that obviously the EVO drive uh, is better how much better that would be uh, it would depend upon you know what what type of games you're playing and the amount of uh, activity that game's got of loading its assets and resources uh, from the drive on changing levels and things like that and changing maps um, but I don't think you'd be disappointed with a QVO drive maybe some food for thought there with regards to your next SSD drive purchase 
uh, you know, comments down below, any questions. You know, I do like to interact with my audience, so you know, I'll try and answer them if I can. Uh, if you enjoy the video, hit that uh, like button and uh, subscribe to the channel uh, for more content like this. Um, but thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. So bye for now.